Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Crackin' It's D. About to react to this vid. It's titled, Ariana Grande Wicked Drama is Crazy. It's drama already concerning this 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 movie. <laughs> Has it even come out yet? I don't think so. Uh, but, but sure, let, let's see what the supposed drama is. Let's watch. With all the press that Ariana Grande has been doing for Wicked, there's been so much said about her, and the conversation has just been all over the place. Last year, she was getting a ton of backlash, and there were periods of time this year, right after her album release, that she was also getting a ton of backlash, and it all surrounded her relationship with Ethan Slater, okay? Now we're in this bubble where people are starting to like Ethan, they're starting to like Ariana, and that's where I kind of left things off in my last video. I was like, you guys, people are really switching up because they like Wicked, and I don't know, they like him again. But now you guys, the hate mob is back, okay? And the reason why is because <laughs> she's been emotional in these interviews oh, nice. and people are like, I'm over it, I'm annoyed. I Every day it is something new with the internet, I swear. I cannot keep up with who we like and who we don't like. Uh, but Ariana really? and Cynthia have been doing so much press together and they have been emotional in these interviews. They filmed this movie over a multiple year period. A lot happened on set, a lot happened in their personal lives. And this was a dream role for Ariana. So of course she's gonna be emotional when she's talking about it but people are like i'm sick of the tears like what is oh. going on with these two are they okay like why oh. do they keep crying in every single interview that they oh. do which there are a lot of interviews where they're emotional but here's the thing this year blake lively was getting people have told me to react to a video of them crying <laughs> it's like a compilation of them crying in uh in interviews so yeah i guess i'll watch that next out for being mean seen. in an interview and i mean rightfully so like nobody should be rude to an interviewer but now we have people that are so grateful just emotional in these interviews and they're getting called out so this is just crazy and we're gonna be spilling yeah, on problem? all this I'm inside confused. because i just i'm happy. speechless you guys okay so i need to know when did we collectively decide listen that as a fellow crybaby i get it i understand the tears okay sometimes they come out unexpected you don't want them to come out obviously you don't want to cry with a damn camera in your face but sometimes it happens it is what the fuck it is <laughs> You know, so hey, if they're talking about some stuff, and if they if they're talking about something, <laughs> get me talk, and it gets them choked up, it gets them emotional, then so be it. They're human. I'm confused. Crying was out because apparently Ariana Grande and Cynthia Revo shedding some tears during the Wicked press tour is now a whole comedy people do not understand, and the internet is yeah, running bro. wild reacting to their tears. Wicked hasn't even hit theaters yet, and somehow the press what tour is, is giving us everything: drama, memes, and yes, a surprise amount of emotional breakdowns but before we dive into the tears and why people are tuning into this whole meme worthy interview drama let's set the stage here so wicked the movie adaption of the iconic broadway musical has been in the works for what feels like forever and what is it's finally having its what big this? moment like it feels like we are reliving the barbie movie coming out because of just oh. how much wicked promo there is i mean we're talking about like, dolls which the, that was a drama in itself if you guys found out they had these wicked dolls that were made and there was a website on the back of the box and it ended up linking to an inappropriate website and it was this whole situation very disturbing Wait, and very scary but Wizard the company has since been made aware of the whole situation but there is so much merchandise being put out related to wicked collabs food products everyone is trying to cash in on the wicked hype because it really Thank is you. such a big deal and ariana and cynthia certainly haven't shied away from showing people that they know Know the weight of how much people love this film and how much pressure was on them to make this the best thing ever and during the press interviews ariana and cynthia have been how do i put this absolutely sobbing you guys like to the point where it's become their thing now every oh, time someone I'm asks them the about their experience <laughs> on set Did it's like crying? cue the waterworks and I feel like oh. Ariana Grande fans who know how obsessed she is with Wicked, how much this role meant to her, how much she wanted it, it was her dream role, understand why oh. she's been so emotional well, and so grateful that they took a chance on her to play this role. But of course, the internet has turned it into this whole joke, just making fun of the fact that in nearly every single interview, these two just seem to get emotional some way, somehow. I get that. I love you back. That was such a thoughtful parade of like, Thoughtfulness. I love you. Thanks. Stuff you don't see is the most special stuff. Yeah. Whoa, Whoa stop. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Don't do it. I mean, don't do it. Mean. In what ways the person You know what? I know how frustrating that is to start crying when you don't want to. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> gosh. Oh, you man. are very good. You are very good. Oh, my gosh. I need more context. I'm going to watch the video. Um, 
You did it. We love you. And I really, I thank you. I was thinking I'm going to crap the glitter off. I'm going to go blind from glitter. No. I'm going to get blind from glitter. <laughs> that is so real. That's hilarious. Because I've worn, I've worn like eyeshadow with glitter in it. And anytime I feel like, oh, this might get in my eyes. It's going to scratch my, you know, eye and not, I can't see. That's hilarious. Not the time, helicopter. Everyone here right now is just wild. This means the lot to us, yeah. It's very moving. <laughs> yeah. She's not showing it's really emotional. Really so great. I need to, to see her. And, and I think why is this filter over this reflection. black and white filter? I can't even see. And so I think I've gotten her a little bit of her softness. And she's got her strength. A little bit of my strength. Yeah. People on TikTok are literally staging mock interviews where they pretend to sob over the most random things being asked to them, pretending to be Ariana and Cynthia. So what did you guys have for lunch today? What was the moment you shared during the filmmaking process that made you two think, wow, yeah. this project is going to be popular? <laughs> no, it's just, it's, uh, we, it's just, or what would you say? Fun. Yeah, we've made exactly. It. It's the, the past. It's all that we've. I don't been like been this effect. Uh, um, when you watch this film for the first effect. time, it truly feels like you're defying gravity. <gasps> Thank you. You're gonna make me cry. If you could talk to your characters right now. So, Cynthia, how was it filming Wicked? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Not right now, helicopter. Not right now, helicopter. The helicopter is moving in the moment. It's okay. It's okay. Some online have come to their defense though, defending the two of them for being so emotional during the press tour saying, you know, you guys just don't get it. If you were never a theater kid, you're never gonna understand Ooh, how working on it. something and it being over, what that really means and what that's like. And if you've never accomplished anything in life, <laughs> you, know, you don't know what it feels like to be brought to tears because you're, you're so, you know, overwhelmed with joy. If you don't know how that feels, then, you know, sucks for you. <laughs> that's what it sounds like they were saying. Like, Girl, at this point, I think Ariana and Cynthia are crying in every Wicked interview just, just because they've done so many f interviews. Like, what else do you want them to say? Like, they've just resorted to crying on command because they can't talk about this movie anymore. Seriously, how is it not out yet? Like, the, just give, please give these women a break. I don't like how Cynthia Rebo and Ariana Grande are always crying in every interview that they do. Well, I do. I love it. Okay? I finally feel represented in the mainstream media as someone who cries a lot in the theater <laughs> Do you know what happens when theater kids finish a show? They hold on to that sh for the rest of their life. It does not matter if it was production of Les Mis that they did for one summer for three weeks. You hold on. I feel like I'm seeing so many people be like, I don't understand why are Cynthia and Ari crying so much on this Wicked Press tour. And it has been made incredibly clear to me that most of you on this app have never been in a high school production of Into the Woods, where at the cast party in someone's basement, you sat in a circle and went around one by one and you shared the most traumatic thing that has ever happened to you while everyone was sobbing and then you say no one is alone. And it showed. And the girls have also come out to defend themselves as the press tour has gone on for so long that they're literally still doing really? interviews. So they oh. have been able to react to people talking about them crying and they've apologized and just try to explain themselves. Oh, we're not gonna be here. We're not. No, you can't. Yeah, no. We can't. No, no, you're gonna We've do it. We've cried 500 we times today. Done today. Oh, no, today. and honestly, this is a PSA. Like... So sorry. Guys. I'm sorry. It's, it is what it is. I'm really sorry. We're really we're sorry. sorry. It just happened. Oh, it's really God. emotional. We can't help this. We have to we're talk sorry. About it. We're sorry. Like, there's nothing there's that we can do about it. I can't imagine. And you know what? If, if you're just gonna be how annoying it is, I'll say it first. I can't help it. My tears. We are tight. I can't even. I felt the same thing. I relate to that too. Like apologizing for crying, just because I feel like. It's so dramatic sometimes, and I'm like, oh, why am I crying? I have apologized. <laughs> I ain't doing it no more, though. I'm a fucking human being. If the tears come, they come. What the fuck ever. You know, it is frustrating and kind of annoying, especially when you don't want to publicly cry. Um, you know, I understand. Because <laughs> this is one thing when people set up their camera to cry, and it's like, you already crying? That's something completely different. That's weird. <laughs> but sometimes you're watching something or you're talking about something, and that's your genuine 
honest reaction. I don't think you should apologize for that. So people so are I was weird. like, it's it's really weird. Weird. we're trying our best. This but there's a lot of emotional talking. things that happen, and we're just going with it. Yeah, you need to understand. It's well, been like three years, people. Hearts. There's a lot of We've got to keep on. this in for such a long time. And it's a full circle moment for both of you. Three years of traveling. Why does emotional availability scare you so? Uh, I'm ready to cry now. Me either. That's we. And love. It's out of happiness. It's out of joy. And joy. People still just have things to say in the comments of all of these videos, writing, LMFAO, I can't take these interviews seriously. Why is every interview a therapy session? Like, what is going on? I literally haven't seen a single wicked interview without crying. LMAO, they're always crying. No, but why are they always crying? What did the producers do to them? Like, how traumatic was the filming experience? And the girls have also talked about that so much has happened in their lives and so much happened in their lives. She got a divorce of all of this and they went into filming as one person and came out a totally different person and so that has also yeah, been something that has been it. crazy to relive and talk about in these interviews that i get it y'all are lame leave these women alone <laughs> i don't understand what the uproar is about do you niggas not cry about anything or have you not accomplished anything <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you're, you know, consumed with, with happiness and joy and gratefulness and you've grown so much, sometimes, you know, it, it evokes that emotion within and it's okay to, you know, let that out. It's fine. I'll see what the big deal is. People are weird. I think this comes down to people treating these celebrities like they're not human beings. That's what it's really about. Just think about it. Think about it. That's the constant theme that I'm always seeing. Like people, whether it's subconscious or not, they just don't really look at these people as humans. So it's like, oh, ha ha, you're crying. Ha, why, why are you crying so much? Ha. Because they're constantly talking about their experience and how, you know, they've always wanted to do this. I guess this has been our honest dream. I just found that out watching this video i didn't know that i don't even know what the fuck wicked is <laughs> i googled it it has something about wizard of Oz, so maybe it's connected to that I, I don't know what's happening but anyway yeah so she wants to do this shit all her life apparently and yeah it brought them to tears i don't understand <laughs> niggas is weird they're human beings they cry people cry i don't get it y'all let me know what y'all think though let me know what other videos you've been watching i'll see you on the next time bye